What was that? Was that them? That was the refrigerator. It sounded like it was down the street. No, I looked. It's still in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, you're right. What am I worried about here? The dinner's cooking, the Walgraves are coming, the wine's at room temperature. Heck, even the room's at room temperature. <laughs> this is gonna be a great night. This is gonna be a what? Perfect, Perfect night. night. Now, you know, most people would jump to the conclusion that is their client calling to cancel dinner and that they've just blown their one shot at landing a big account and that they're back to square one in the PR game and that they're an embarrassment to their friends and their family. Most people would answer the phone. Then answer it. Hello? Yes, he lives here. Hello? Do you know Rick Stedman? No. Wait. Rick... Rick Stedman. Rick Stedman. Rick Stedman. Tansy, do you know who that was? Was it Rick Stedman? <laughs> right. You remember the guy... Oh, I know I told you this, didn't I? Before I met you, I was staying with these friends in these apartment buildings, and they caught on fire, and everybody got out, but my friend realized that I wasn't out, so she started yelling, and... She? <laughs> oh. Maybe that's why I forgot to tell you. No, go ahead, that's okay. You were on fire. No, I was passed out on the floor. I was almost dead. But at the last minute, this complete stranger runs into this burning building, he finds me, carries me out through the flames. It was like he was a real life hero. I wish I could have met him. You never met him? No, because when I came to in the hospital, he was gone. But, but I tracked him down and I wrote him a letter and I said, thanks, <laughs> I guess. And I promised him that as long as I was alive, I would do anything for him. You know, uh, money, a place to stay, anything. But then I never heard back from him until now. Is, is he here? Did he sound close? Not that close. Oh, it's, it's the Walgreens. Remember, perfect night. Mm. Right, right. Oh, yeah, and uh, watch his wife. Why? She steals things. What? Mr. Walgrave. Sorry, we're late. Been down the driveway trying to get my son out of the car. Hello. Is he coming? No. You give him the 20? He wants 50. What? You little blood sucker! I'll see you rot in hell first! Come on in. Welcome to our home. Uh, uh, this is, um... Tansy. Uh... Do you have children? No. Plan to? Yes. No. Nope. Well, actually, we're, uh, we're, we're trying. We've talked about trying. We go round and round. Sometimes that works. <laughs> oh, such beautiful sterling silver. Plate. Silver plate. Worthless. Fools everybody. <laughs> As long as it holds food, I'm starved. You know, the faster we eat, the faster we can get to the games. The games? I love to play games. I consider it a great way to test the person's character. You know what I mean, Willem? I think so, yes. Great. Well, let's eat. I don't like to play games on an empty stomach. Well, hey, enough small talk. Let's just sit right down. It's like you said, Willem. Looks like she's a hell of a cook and quite the little homebody. Oh, God, I Actually, don't think that... Actually, I'm quite the little photographer. You might have seen my work in the new Women in the Arts exhibit downtown. Oh, good for you, Tuts. <laughs> Thinking of having you write a speech for me. I have to give a speech, sweetie. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> ah, I'm being named Man of the Year. Really? A recent one? Tansy, can I speak to you in the kitchen for a minute? You speak to me in the kitchen all night. <laughs> um, Putz is preparing the chef's surprise. I don't want to blow it. Listen, honey, I don't approve of this guy any more than you do, but, I mean, you can't drive him away yet. It's like, um... It's like, remember when Harper's made you do that uh, series on celebrity pets before they let you do your series on Aborigines? Appalachians. Yes, right. I knew that. Well, Walgrave is my next step to, to better things, bigger clients. Maybe my own company in five years. Or four, if dessert's good. <laughs> Tansy, 
If I land this guy tonight, I can handpick my clients, good ones, and work for some causes that do some good in the world. So the future of the planet is riding on this dinner? Absolutely. Well, then don't worry. Everything will be perfect. Now grab that tray and help me serve the pig. I thought we were having Cornish hen. We are. <laughs> Oh, hey, come on in. Who is this man? Well, I don't know, Willem. I thought he was your friend. I'm not Willem. Now you tell us. Who are you? Rick Stedman. You're Rick Stedman? No, no, no you are. Well, that's what I thought. I was going to say. Rick, it's me, Willem Boyd. Oh, oh, right. Uh, well, I didn't think there'd be more than one Rick Stedman. <laughs> Everybody, this is the man who saved my life. Oh. Yeah, it's not that common of a name, you he know. He went into a burning building. The flames were shooting... I don't think feet. I've ever even heard of another Rick Stedman. <laughs> you guys, we are in the presence here of a real-life, honest-to-God hero. <laughs> Well, excuse me. Oh, you ever do that? Yeah, you ever do impressions? See if you get this one. I got a million of them. I got a million of them. Ha, cha, 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 cha. <laughs> well, Jimmy Durante. Uh, before he died. Um, right. Uh, oh, okay. How about this? How about uh, ha, ha, Harvey, big wh 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 white r r r rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this clown? Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Rick, how, how long are you going to be in town? Because I want to make sure that we can spend some time together. Now's good for me. <laughs> Why don't you join us for dinner? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, th th this is my wife, Tansy. Uh, this is Mr. And, and Mrs. Walgrave. Oh, these look lovely. What is this? Rock Cornish hen. Right, right. That's what I thought. Because you know what? What? This is what I had for lunch. <laughs> oh. Yep. Well, just, you know, don't feel bad about leaving it. Oh, okay. Is there a trash can somewhere? Uh, oh, here, here. Let me, let me take it. Oh, well, this guy doesn't have one. There you go. <laughs> Something else. Uh, mm -hmm. Fruit. Or I, I could make you something. Okay. Which? Uh, spaghetti. <laughs> okay. I'll be back. <laughs> Later. Oh, and I'm missing a spoon. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, look who's got two. Here we go. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get in on them. I don't want to be here all night. You know, Mr. Walgrave, I've, I've got a couple ideas about your, your company and how we get out of that nasty hard mess. Hard to believe, that. you know? What, what's that, Rick? All right. Just a little while ago, these were all inside some birds. <laughs> in fact, look. Here we go. There you are. Look. It's like... for asking. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna, you know, hang around my brother Bob's house. Uh, that's where I'm living now. But Bob, he gave me all this money. Like mucho dinero, you know, and all these credit cards. And he said, why didn't I just go anywhere I wanted to? That was very generous of him. Well, you know it, especially since he hasn't got a job or anything. We didn't have any spaghetti, so I made you some fresh linguine. Oh, uh, give it to Will's dad over here. I'm not his father. Oh, sold some wild oats, did we? 
Rick, uh, well, these well, are not... Well, we'll have to do this some other oh. time. Oh, no, sir, Mr. Walker, please, I, I haven't even given you any of my ideas yet. Besides, you've hardly touched your dinner. Only because you did. <laughs> Isn't there anything I can do to make you guys stay? No. Oh, that's too bad, because we were just about to start the games. Games? Uh, that's it. That's right, the games. Well, we could stay a few hours. Games, count me in. Good, let's let Mr. Walgreen choose. Uh, we have Pictionary, Scruples, uh... Gutsy. I went on a trip. Well, you're back now and that's what counts. <laughs> I went on a trip is his favorite game. He's quite good. Don't play for money. It's simple. See, the first person says, I went on a trip and I brought, and then he says something that goes with an A. Like it could be an apple, an ant. Oh, it doesn't have to be an apple. Tansy. <laughs> no, no, it could be anything. Well, I'll give it a whirl. Let me see. I went on a trip and I brought an apple. <laughs> hey, I know this game. I used to play with chips. Chips? Well, he was my best friend. So, uh, hey, it's your turn. I, I know that. Uh, I, I went on a trip and I brought an apple and a basket. I went on a trip and I took an apple, a basket, and a candlestick. You, you brought a candlestick. You didn't take a candlestick. Not yet. I, I went on a trip and I uh, brought an apple and a basket and a candlestick and a duck. Okay, Rick. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I went on a trip and I brought an apple, a basket, a candlestick, a duck, and a map of the area. <laughs> Your turn. Go. <laughs> That's it. He loses. Well, then, no, 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 um, uh, Rick, you're supposed to say something that begins with an E. Huh? Uh, <laughs> um, A, B, C, I had D, E. Oh. Oh, we never played that way. We always just, you know, we just named things we'd really take on a trip. Do that. Hey! Oh, no, no. Why doesn't Rick do it his way and we'll just keep on the way we were going, okay? Well, all right. Good. Good. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. I went on a trip and I brought an apple, a basket, a candlestick, a duck, a map of the area, and uh, a flagpole. A flagpole? <laughs> well, on a trip? <laughs> okay. Um, Mr. Walgrave, it's... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I went on a trip and I brought an apple, a basket, a candlestick, a duck, a map of the area, a flagpole, and a gun. <laughs> went on a trip, and I took an apple, a basket, a candlestick. Rick? And Rick, what are you doing? Uh, well, maybe you guys can remember all these, but I sure can't. I... I went on a trip, and I took an apple and a... A basket? I know, but... No, what, are, what are we doing? I mean, what the hell is the point if he's going to write them down? Absolutely. So why don't we just not play this? Yes. In fact, now would be a good time for you guys to talk. Well, great. Uh, we can get to know each other better. <laughs> or we could play another game. Oh, okay. Uh, here's one. It's called Shoes and Socks, all right? Now, first, everybody take off your shoes. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, what? You want me to go back? <laughs> what? You remember everything so far? What's remember? You said take off your shoes. Right, so what's the part you're having trouble with? <laughs> None of it. I'm not going to play it. You don't want to play this? I mean, we played your game. I mean, don't we want to play my game? Oh, Rick, no, no. It's just it's you picked a game Mr. Walgrave doesn't know. Oh, of course he knows it. He knows every game, right, dear? Of course, of course I do. Oh, shoes in here. <laughs> Honey, he's blowing this evening for me. This man saved your life. Yeah, I think he wants it back. <laughs> Listen, relax. As long as Walgrave stays, you still have a chance to make the pitch. Oh, we need some bags. Uh, grocery bags? That's great. Yeah, that's great. Grocery bags. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 
Uh, no groceries in them, though. <laughs> oh, here, look. Here's a bag for the shoes. Okay. Now, one pair goes in here. Now, watch it. Those shoes cost $200. Here's the bag. Oh, great. Great. And these are for our heads. <laughs> Well, uh, well, look, here, everybody gets a bag. Right, now you take your bag, like so, and you... And then you tear out one eye hole, see? So you just see out of one eye, right there. Yeah. Now all torn out, so up on your feet and put all the bags over your head and look out of the eye, okay? That's right. Hey, hold, hold it, I, I, I can't find my eye hole. Well, look, I'll help you. Wait, 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 wait now. Oh, you got your eye hole way too high. <laughs> well, here, look, no problem. Here, we'll just poke a new one. There you go. There you go. Ah! I'll just, uh, I'll just tear this down a little, and then you can see. No problem, just okay? Just get the hell on with it! <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna go hide this bag, and oh, right. Everybody has to close their eyes and turn all around and around till I say shoes and socks real loud, okay? Oh, right. And put your fingers in your ears and hum. Okay? Put my fingers in my ears and hum? I'm mad of the year. I come here to eat. Now I'm half blind with a bag on my head and some maniac wants me to put my fingers in my ears and hum? Right. Okay? And, uh, you know, no peeking. So, ready? And put those fingers in those ears. Right. And turn. Go. Mm -hmm. And now we all sit down. Oh. Right. And now what happens? I'm going to just start reading out loud from the Bible. And when I come to just anything about shoes or feet or anything like that, whoever hears it, yell, shoes and socks. <laughs> so uh, where do you keep your Bible? I don't think we have a Bible. Well, everybody has a Bible, don't they? Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't. Why not? Don't you believe in God? Why don't you believe in God? I never said I didn't believe well, in God. That's that then. The game's over? Well, sure. How would I know he wouldn't have had a Bible? It really kind of makes you think, you know? What does? Well, I mean, if you believed in a power higher than yourself, we could have had a great game of shoes and socks here tonight. Rick, I never said Doesn't I didn't believe Doesn't this make in... you ask yourself what else in life you might be missing? Well, I'm missing my shoes, that's what. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Here we go. Here we are. Oh, hey, a creek. <laughs> I got his suitcase. Get away from me! Get Thank you. We had a lovely time. <laughs> Coming through. Here I come. Here we are. Mr. Walgrave? Boy, some people are real sore losers, huh? Yes. Oh, hey, neat. Where's this go through to? The bedroom. Oh, no, thanks. The couch is fine. What? So, uh, you have, uh, like, a lot of people living here? No, just the two of us. Mm, good. <laughs> How about you, Rick? Hmm? Uh, besides your brother, Bob, do you have family? Yeah, somewhere. I'm from a broken home. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <sighs> tornado hit it. Bam, right on through. <laughs> Got some good boards, though. Made a fort. Um, when Will comes back, tell him I've gone to bed. Yeah, sure. Hey, am I in your way here? No, I think I'll take the stairs. Okay, it's your house. Rick? You know, I miss 
breaking something. Rick, this was a very important night for me. Oh, how sweet. Thanks. Listen, listen, guys. I know you saved my life, and I appreciate that. There's not a day goes by that I don't think about that. Uh, and I remember the promise as well, but I mean, you didn't give me any warning here. You just barged in, you took over. Oh, this dinner was very important for me. Rick Walgren is a big client. There you go. Now keep it. What, what, it, what is this? Oh, that'll be the King James version. <laughs> uh, let me see now. Oh, no, what were you saying? I got lost. I, uh, I was just, I was just saying thanks, Rick. Ah, oh, no problem. Good night, Rick. Sleep tight. Yeah, you too. <laughs> just how smooth is News Radio's Phil Hartman? Check out this classic SNL spot. The Chameleon XLE. Inside, the Chameleon has everything you would expect in a luxury sedan of its class. But there's more. This is craftsmanship no one will steal. This is engineering for the inner city driving experience. They might tow it away, but they'll never steal it. Phil Hartman is Phil McNeil on News Radio Sundays.